video, we'll show you how to measure the outside diameter of a single turn wave spring. The measurement is taken the same way for both gap type or overlap type wave springs. Before you start, you need to ensure that you have the appropriate tools and workspace. All that you need is a proper size caliper and a flat surface. The flat surface provides consistency while it's measured. To begin the process, lay the spring on the flat surface. Before you can take your measurement, you need to find the spring high point, or the spot with the largest diameter. To do this, move the calipers around the diameter of the spring. Once you have found the high point, move the calipers across the spring, adjusting the caliper jaws until they make contact with the spring. Pull the spring slowly across the flat surface while slowly opening the caliper jaws with the adjustment wheel. When you reach the point where the spring slides free at the calipers, you have correctly determined the outside diameter measurement. You can now compare the caliper measurement with the outside diameter listed on the small print to ensure that the part is within tolerance. Some smalley springs are designed to operate within a specific bore diameter. In these instances, the measured outside diameter value must not exceed the bore's internal diameter. Please contact us if you have any part or application questions. Smalley's engineers are here and happy to assist you.